Chlorine King. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss anything. If you need any help with your business, then join my Patreon, links below, where you will improve your business and get exclusive discounts with my partners in the industry. Check out the sponsors for this video. Skimmer will revolutionize the efficiency of your business and communication for your clients all in one modern and easy to use app. With everything you need to run your pool business with software that rocks, click the link below to learn more. Riptide Pool Vacuum Systems will allow you to service more pools per day and feel more refreshed at the end of it. With the blow-off proof bags, the most powerful vac head, awesome transport rack and so much more, check out the link below. Now let's get to the video. What's up everybody, Chlorine King here. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Today is Friday, the weekend is right next to us, but right now I'm doing a pool inspection before I head to the pool and spa expo in Orlando. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look back and show you some of the findings. Now, keep in mind that uh, this isn't going to be, I'm not gonna show you every little thing because that would take forever, but I, I can assure you if you guys catch something on camera, I caught it in the re inspection report. So. Let's go ahead and take a look and show you some brief findings. Let me flip this thing around. All right, so immediately you can see here the screen door. Got the lining coming out a little bit. And also here, this door is not really latchable and you want it to latch and auto close. The auto closer is working, but it is, uh, really sluggish so this uh, switch box goes up to those lights here I can see it's cracked and all that so but the uh, one of the lights do work so that is a good thing but I recommend that get, that get fixed and then here I use a GFCI tester uh, during the inspections obviously the cover is missing so that's gonna be replaced but according to this this is wired properly and then of course if I go to trip the GFCI it cuts the power off so we know that it is working as it should. We do the same thing here on the bottom. Test, it tripped, so we're good there. Overall, the deck and the drains are in, uh, deck drains and deck are in really good shape. Well, let's go ahead here, take a look at the pool. Immediately, you can see some very obvious things. The surface is in uh, pretty rough shape. The drain cover is completely off there. It's outdated anyways, uh, so that's gonna need to be replaced. And also, uh, that sidewall cover also needs to be replaced because it's outdated. It's one of the first uh, BGBA covers out there. See a scum line around the pool? That's just scum. It's not calcium scale. It rubs off uh, easily, so it's not scale. I could not get this light to work during the inspection. I uh, There must be a switch inside, or it might be just possibly burn out of the breakers in the sub panel are turned on, so in theory it should work. Moving around here, you see a lot of modeling there on the side of the walls. That is the uh, darker colored stuff. That's just the raw concrete and stuff starting to show through the surface. I don't know if you guys can gather this right here. It might be hard to tell, but it looks like there's some very fine cracks in the surface there. Um, so I'm not sure if we're losing water there or anything like that. They also do have a back lock here. So for the skimmer, you can see it has some patchwork done right there on the on the uh, corners where the plaster meets the skimmer mouth. Uh, the skimmer was off upon arrival, but one thing I found, the big no-no, see that tablet in the skimmer there? That is going to make the plastic more brittle, damage your equipment, because overnight when that thing shuts off, you're gonna have some very acidic water hitting your equipment first thing when it starts up. Uh, this this uh, skimmer lid doesn't, the spring action's gone in it, so it doesn't really lock or lift it up at your leisure. Looking at the waterfall, you can see that uh, it's not flowing 100%. Normally that's uh, grains of sand or something that's just stuck in there. That's an easy fix. And just to the left of it along the water line, if you look close enough, you can see some grout um, that is starting to fail. Nothing really to see over here. There's some more modeling going on. Uh, again, the deck's very solid. These uh, safety fences are anchored very nicely. So, no issue there. 
Then also going back towards the, uh, this side, you see you got some screen issues here and there's a lot more on the other side that I'll show you. These uh, enclosure cables right here, they go all along to add structures, structural stability to the enclosure. They're a little loose, I'm gonna recommend the screen contractor uh, looks at that and tightens them up to make the uh, screen enclosure as strong as possible. So now we're gonna go over to the equipment. And again, all these deck drains look good. They don't look clogged. So this door also has some issues. Um, you see that coming off here and then uh, this does not really work properly either that the door doesn't really line up either so that's something that uh, I'm gonna recommend to be looked at by again a screen contractor uh, so this is the pool equipment I mean immediately you can tell that uh, the ball valve is, is both broken there and for whatever reason, uh, this is a skimmer line. They have that turned off for whatever reason, as you saw earlier. So I'm just leaving it that way. I did test to make sure it pulled water in, and it did. But for whatever reason, I'm just putting it back the way it was. If there's a leak or, or what have you, I don't. I can't verify that. For 30 minutes, I'm here. 45 minutes, I'm here. All right, here, there's a leak at the filter inlet. There you go. There just went a drop. So I'm gonna recommend to have that addressed ball valves while you can turn them they are a little bit on the old side so you just have to uh, make a recommendation that hey these are getting old and more difficult to turn and more prone to break uh, you can see just by how discolored they are they've been out here for a while this filter body looks new so it looks like it's a relatively new filter the pumps running uh, very well so uh, sounds great and also one of my favorite tools for the inspection is a temp gun. So what I'll do is I'll shoot up here at the motor. You can see we're at about a 95 or so. And depending on where you move it, you might get a little more, 107. That's all acceptable. So motor's running good. It's bonded as you can see. A couple things I have here, anyways, is this conduit here from the pumps we strapped down. This Romex. They have, um, I think, one or two that are rated for outdoor use, but however, because it's painted, it's not something I can verify, so that's something we need to have an electrician check out. Opening up the timer box here. You can see this timer here is grounded. This one's not, so I'd recommend this gets grounded. Not quite sure what this goes to. There's no secondary pump or, or really uh, any other electrical device here. I, th I thought that might have been to get power to the solar, but there's no solar controller out here, so not quite sure what that's for. And then the uh, weather stripping, you can see the outline here is from the weather stripping, so that's gone, so I'd recommend uh, weather stripping be added here to make the box as weatherproof as possible. Um, while this plumbing is not ideal for this pump, you know, generally you want five times the diameter going in and out of the pump. Nothing we can do there, but it is running well. Uh, so no issues there. Can't report that necessarily. Uh, no, le no leaks at the chlorinator. And again, why someone's putting tablets in the skimmer and the chlorinator's here. Not really sure why, but nonetheless it's happening. So we've got to report that. So this is a very simple equipment pad here. And I'll show you, I'll walk around here. I'll show you what I'm talking about with these uh, support cables for the screen enclosure. They shouldn't be this loose. This one over here is really bad. This one here is really loose. You see how loose that is, it shouldn't be like that. This one's much better to how it should be. It should be more taut like this, uh, just not as giving because when time comes it shifts ever from wind, it's not there to support it if it's so flexible and, and not loose. And the only other thing I wanna show you, it's with the screen enclosure like this, uh, you want to find a bonding point. There is a bonding point right here for the screen enclosure uh, that gets tied into the um, pool equipment and shell and all that stuff. So at least the screen enclosure is bonded. What I do, now in this case, this clearly goes in the ground, but uh, if there's bonding wire just randomly going in the ground. I do like to pull on it to make sure it's just not. I've literally 
have seen people just connect bonding wire to a pump and just talk and just bury it in the ground a couple inches to make it look like it's bonded, which to me is hilarious and stupid and unsafe all at the same time. So going back here in the screen enclosure, uh, again this auto closure is uh, pretty weak. I know they're adjustable, but they're probably pretty old considering the latch is broken there. And then looking up, you can see if you look closely, there's a lot of holes uh, just from bugs, spiders, stuff like that in the screen enclosure. And of course, there's also some mold and dirt and all that stuff on those top, uh, top of the enclosure. Uh, so I wanna recommend getting that cleaned off so when it rains, it doesn't drip in the pool. Uh, rusted anchor bolts here. They should use nice stainless bolts, but usually they don't, they're more expensive. So that's really it. I mean, that's, there's a lot more to the inspection than that, but essentially, uh, this was a pretty straightforward one. Um, obviously the pool is starting to reach its age uh, as far as um, longevity goes. Uh, I'm already starting to see some, you know, delamination on the steps here. On the, or I'm sorry, not the steps, the bench and the deep end. And there's just a lot of modeling going on, which means the colored surface is just starting to wear out. Uh, I am concerned about what looks to be cracks right there. Uh, rust stains, it's hard to tell. I mean, they, this one here at the very end, closest to the drain, looks like it's got a pinhead on it, so it might be rebar bleed. Not really sure. Really hard to tell. I mean, it's, it's in a lot of ways, usually pretty obvious, but that one, they got the pinhead there, but it's not a super dark rust spot. It looks like it just might have been stuff sitting in the bottom of the pool for an extremely long time. And so that's it. All the returns are working like they should. Uh, pump does not lose power when you turn open any suction line, except for the vacuum line, which is right there, uh, because obviously that line is closed off. So again, pretty straightforward pool. I would tell a seller to not, not buy the house because of the pool, just with the understanding that you're probably gonna have to renovate it uh, in the near future, possibly, figure out what's going on with the camera. So the water level is low right now. And I'm not sure if there's a leak there, but I don't see any sunken pavers by the skimmer to indicate that, hey, there might be a leak with the skimmer, but there still could be one. Clearly there was one with it being passed before. So at the end of the day, I think this is a, uh, a pool that's definitely manageable and fixable. I've seen a lot worse. Definitely gotta get that cover fixed for safety. One other finding I want to show you, it's, uh, during the video I forgot to turn on the solar, so the, I just turned the solar on, you can clearly see this thing's losing massive amounts of water, so that solar is not working properly, so uh, we'll definitely mark that in the report as bad, because uh, clearly the pool's going to be losing water as uh, that solar's running, so we'll shut that back off and uh, note it in the report. And I hope you guys uh, learn a little bit about how inspections work, I mean I do three to four of these a week, and uh, that's that so hope you guys liked the video stay tuned for more as we got more coming this year and i hope you all have a great weekend take care mm -hmm.